I don't care if Vision Vancouver and Mayor Gregor Robertson are anti-business. It's so in vogue. I mean, they can push policies to increase CO2 emissions caused by increased traffic congestion due to ill-conceived bike lane routes on major thoroughfares. But their decision to put up six million tax dollars so that the city can be in the bike rental business in direct competition with a number of small businesses is way over the line. Every business association from the Board of Trade, Canadian Federation of Independent Business to the Chamber of Commerce, plus anyone who respects the contributions of small business in Canada, should be outraged. Business Vancouver is knowingly going to direct competition with bike, bike rental operations in the city, thereby putting some people's livelihood, life savings in jeopardy for no valid reason. Of course, they're not doing it with their own money. No, they're doing it with tax dollars, some of it coming from bike rental stores. I mean, do we actually think we need government to be in the bike rental business? Do we have a shortage of bicycles? Are Vancouverites so addled, so in need of the nanny state that they're not able to buy their own bikes? Do we have a shortage of bike rental businesses? No. Yesterday, I found a half dozen in downtown Vancouver by spending less than a minute on the Internet. Now, if citizens want a bike-sharing program, there are lots of other ways to do it, lots of ways to create incentives for entrepreneurs without the city risking tax dollars, putting government in business. No, this is a really bad idea. My name is Mike Campbell. Join me Saturday for Money Talks.